Good morning, dear students. Welcome to our Science 8, Quarter 1, Week 1, Force and Motion Lesson. Okay. So, before we will proceed, let's define force. So, what is a force? A force is a push or a pull that causes an object to move, stop, or change direction. In physics, a force is anything that makes an object accelerate. Okay? So, a force is anything that makes an object to move, to stop, or change direction. Forces come in pairs. Siya lang ang may ka forever. <laughs> okay, so forces have magnitude and a direction. So when we say magnitude, that's the strength of the force. So here is an example. So 5 newton north or up. So the magnitude there is 5 newton. The direction is north or up. Take note, guys, that one newton is equivalent to one kilogram point meter per second per second or one kilogram point meter per second squared. Again, here are some of the terms to remember. First, magnitude. Again, that's the size or strength of the force. It is commonly expressed in Newton. So, we have here a diagram. So, that's a ball, okay, rolling on the ground, going to the left. Okay, so the line of action, you see that? The line of action, then the points to the direction of the force, that's the arrow. Then the point of application there. Then line of action. So when we push the ball forward, going to the left. So we are exerting force on the ball. So the ball will move to the left or forward. So here, another way in describing a force. So did you, uh, did you see the girl sitting on a chair and the boy pushing the wall? Right. So forces do not always cause motion. So if you sit on the chair or you push the wall, will the chair move while you are sitting? No. Will the wall move? When you are pushing it, no. So take note that forces do not always cause motion. Third, second, actually, the second, what can forces do? Yeah, so forces can produce changes in motion. So when we say changes in motion, either um, the object will increase in speed or it will accelerate, it will move fast, or it will decrease its motion or it decelerate or it, it's, it's slow down or it will change its direction. Nagkabaliktad. So, second, third, it must be the third number. Implicit in our concept of force is that a force acts on an object. Yeah, so punching. So, on the face of the man. So, you are exerting a force on the face of the man. So, a force it was act on the object. Force is a vector quantity. 
It means it has magnitude and direction. Okay, so it comes in pairs. So we have here the types of forces. First, applied force. So that's, that's the force given to a person or object by another person or object. So the symbol is F, depending on who or what applies force to the object. Example, if a boy applies a force to a wall, we denote it with F boy. Okay? Second, friction. Friction is a force acting against or opposite an object in contact with which makes the, uh, the movement of the object slows down. Take note that friction always opposes the motion of an object. And its symbol is F subscript small f. So if you are pushing a box, okay, forward. So there is a friction between the floor and the box. So the friction opposes your force. Okay, so saan naman ang direction ng friction natin? Backward. So if you push the box forward, the friction, uh, the friction's direction is backward. Okay, so it always opposes the motion of an object. Third, normal force. That's the force that acts perpendicular to the surface of the object in contact with its symbols F N. Yeah, so that's the normal force. So if you look on the figure one, so the box okay, put an in, in an horizontal floor while the other was put in a slumping okay, floor. Yeah, pababa naman siya. So if you look on the normal, uh, normal force, it is perpendicular. To the surface. Okay, number four, tension. That's the force applied to string, rope, chain, or cable. Okay, its symbol is T. Tensional force or simply tension that acts on the rope of a hanging wall. Ayan, so that's tension. Then we have the second type of force, the non-contact force. So from the word non-contact, forces where objects do not touch or contact with each other. So there is no direct physical contact. Example number one, we have gravitational force or the FG. So, that's the force of attraction between two objects. Example, yan. first, the case of the earth. This gravitational force causes an object to fall down to the ground. So, if we will observe, whatever you throw upward, it always moves downward, goes downward, okay? Second, it makes satellites and smaller objects stay in orbit near the more massive planets, such as our moon. Why our moon maintain its distance from the Earth? Right? Okay? It's because of gravitational force. Then, another bigger masses bigger gravitational force take note of that the bigger the mass the gra the bigger gravitational force okay the closer the objects are greater 
gravitational force. Then the second is magnetic force. So that's the force exerted on a field of attraction or repulsion, as in the case of magnets and other magnetic materials. So take note that unlike poles attract, the same poles repel. Okay? Next. We have here also balance and unbalanced force. So from the word balance, okay, and unbalanced. So if you look at that, uh, the picture on the screen. So forces occur in pairs, take note of that, and they can be either balanced or unbalanced. So when we say unbalanced force, they can cause an object to move, stop, or change direction when we say balance forces these are forces in equal and opposite directions so when we say equal equal in the sense of their magnitude is the same and acting in an opposite direction so balance forces do not cause change in motion why because they are equal in size, meaning equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. There you are. So if you look at that, they are pulling the rope. Parang silang naglalaro ng tug of war. So there will be no motion. Why? They are equal in size. But... Okay, pulling the rope in an opposite direction. So we have here combining forces also. So combining forces, that's the combination or adding of forces to determine the net or unbalanced force. So the equation will be Fn is equal to F1 plus F2 plus F3 and so on and so forth. Okay? Okay. So we have here an example. So example of unbalanced forces. So we have here a man playing, anong tawag na dyan? Sanggol kasi yan sa Ilocano. So the man... Okay, the first man exerts 3 newton to the right, while the other man exerts 6 newton to the left. So, if we will get the net force of that, take note that to the right, that's positive. Then, to the left, negative. So, when will the force go? Yeah, going to the left. So, since they have different um, sign we will do subtraction so 3 newton minus 6 newton that will be 3 newtons left okay then another example ayan tag of war okay the first exerts 4 newton going to the left the other exerts 10 newton to the right again different directions in an opposite direction so since they have an opposite direction we will do subtraction so 4 minus 10 that will be 6 newton so the bigger force saan to the right so it will go to the right then the other example again and balance force again but if you look at that okay her, uh, his mom and the boy is pushing the inflated ball to the, the same direction, going to the same direction. So what will we do? Okay, it must be 15. I'm sorry. Okay, so it must be 15 newton why 15 newton so 5 newton plus 10 newton that will be 
15 newton wrong tayo dyan typographical error yan so that must be 15 newton so where will the boy uh, the ball go it will go to the right so that's unbalanced forces also okay there you are so that's all for today guys thank you for listening and i hope that you learned something for today god bless and keep safe everyone thank you